Hey Skellies, it's Sim Skeleton. I'm in the Sims 4 studio and I am going to show you how to recolor clothing items in Create a Sim or for Create a Sim. So under the Create a Sim block, we are going to click Add Create a Sim Part Swatch. So that is the recolor button. We click Create a Sim and then we have all these things loading up and you can narrow them down because we have a lot of stuff here. I'm going to go under female and then adult and let's see, I think I'm just gonna do a top. So I'm gonna scroll through here and find something that I think I would like to recolor. I really like this crop top that came with uh, movie hangout stuff. So I think I'm going to recolor this black one. And I think I'm gonna do some black and white stripes. So I'll just work with the background that we have and then I'll just add some white stripes. That's simple enough. So I just clicked next in the bottom right corner and then it's gonna have me save in my mods folder, which I think is the best place to save it. Just so that it's automatically in your mods folder. And um, I'm just going to name it, you can name it really whatever. I'm going to do crop top, um, I'm going to do crop top striped. I think that's a good name for it, I guess. And then save, then it will open it up. Here we have our 3D model. And you can move it around, spin it around, depending on which mouse button you click. And you can see what it looks like now. We're gonna click export and it's gonna export this image here, which we will be recoloring. And I don't wanna export this to my mods folder. I'm just gonna export it to my desktop because that's the easiest place for me to find it. And I'm just gonna basically name it the same thing. It doesn't have to be the same name. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna save it there. So here we have the image on my desktop kind of see through on my Windows 10 desktop so it just looks pink in the background but I'm gonna open it with my GIMP program which is basically just a free version of Photoshop I really like using it I have basically taught myself how to use it in the past I don't know the past year or so that's how I created my designs for my um, my merch so here we have it I am just going to zoom way in Oh, maybe that's a little too much. I'll zoom out a little bit. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna really just take the paintbrush and um, let's see, we're gonna make it white here, not green. Here we go. And I'm just gonna draw some stripes on. I think I'm gonna do one more stripe right there. Okay, I like that. So now I'm gonna overwrite the image Okay, and then I'm gonna import. I'm gonna import that image I was just editing. Open. Oh, looks like we have a little bit of lines overdrawn. I thought maybe that won't show up, but um, I guess I can just go ahead and erase it. That's fine. Looks like I got it all, so I will overwrite that again. And then re-import it. Whoops, not export, import. Then import that, looks perfect, look at that. I love it. I love this. I love a black and white stripe, I just do. This is so cute, okay. <laughs> So for the thumbnail, we already have black for half the thumbnail, so I'm just gonna um, make the second color white. Okay, I'm just gonna actually click off there, that'll be fine. Um, so you can see up here, the thumbnail is gonna show up as this, the black and white picture. If you wanna do anything more, you can go to this categories tab. I wouldn't do anything with like the age stuff. You could probably make it male too if you want. I'm gonna add white to the colors because it is black and white. 
age appropriate fashion choice if you want to make it masculine you can um, I don't know there's just a lot of options here that you can mess around with but I think I will just stick to what we have here other than adding the white and then we're gonna click save here your package has been saved so that means it's saved into the mods folder where I originally saved it so now if I go to my mods folder there it is at the top that's the one that I originally saved and the one that was overwritten so it's the same file overwritten with the image that I edited so I close that out I can close out my editing program and I'm gonna launch the game just to show you that it is in create a sim for my sims to wear now I have my game open I'm just finding that top here here's the one we just edited so here's that black and white swatch and here is that top that's the top that I just created I love how it looks it is so cute on her <laughs> And I'm also going to show you one other top that I created. I edited this one. Here's this. It's got cute little cherries on it. I love a cherry pattern. So cute. I love the 1950s, so I love that. Those are the only things that I've made with Sims 4 Studio so far. But I think it's pretty fun, so I know for sure that I am going to be making more in the future. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.